Welcome back everybody to episode 6 of the Honda NSX build series. Um, we are getting pretty close to the end actually. It's surprising how fast this has gone, but um, yeah, as you can see, um, I've been working on painting all the parts that will eventually go in the car. Um, some of them are hard to paint because there's little gaps and the paint gets stuck, like paint got stuck in this gap right here and I had to clean it out, but um, hopefully with a few more coats I'll get everything looking nice. But today <clears throat> is an exciting day because we have the wheels and the tires. So these are going to be going, the, going on the car and um, yeah, I'm just planning to do that this episode and then next episode we can work on the uh, the interior here because I still have to do a lot of the painting for this um, but yeah so hope you guys enjoy all right here are the wheels um, these side cutters did a really nice job of um, getting the wheels off cleanly and um, rear wheels are thicker than the front ones um, and that's because this car is rear wheel drive, so um, it's it helps the car more to have thicker rear tires than front ones for more grip. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's these hubcaps that uh, we're gonna glue on. And then we just have the tires here, which I didn't have to do anything to because they could just come like this. Although there's a little bit of uh, rubber on there, I don't know. Might have to do something about that, but yeah, this should be a pretty short, short episode, so I'll just get to it. Alright, that's the rear tires done. I haven't put the hubcaps on yet, but look at those. Dang. Those are nice. Let's see if we can fit this in. And let's see if it stays. I'm curious. I'm pretty sure we have to glue these, but let me see. Um, okay, it should just pop in. There we go. Alright, I think I got it on. It just needs a little bit of wiggling. And, um, yeah, it's not fully on yet, I don't think at least. This is very interesting. There's some tight clearances here, look at that. Look how close it is to the rim. Seems like there is a little bit of poke. Let me show you. Seems like there's a little bit of poke here. I'm not sure, but I think there it might have something to do with the fitment on the body. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Um, Alright, so I just attached the body real quick for reference, and as you can see, the fitment is pretty good here. It's not like all the way out, which is kind of what I was expecting. I was expecting there to be like poke or something, but if you take off the body, uh, one sec, if you take off the body, there's quite a bit of poke. But once you put it on, it's fine. So basically what I have to look for is for this, you see that little uh, shiny piece poking through? We have to make sure that we can see that pretty much. Because that's when we know that the shaft is all the way through the, um, the axle. 
All right, now I'm gonna put on the other wheel and we can move on to the uh, rear tires. All right, I think that's good. That one was a lot easier to put in, but it's pretty, um, not too hard to put in. And now we're gonna move on to the thicker rear tires, because remember this is rear wheel drive. So let me get the right wheel here. The tread patterns on this um, are different. So on this one, it's, uh, you can see it's pointing this way. So it's gonna turn like this. And then on the other wheel, it's the opposite way, so it's gonna turn like this. But yeah, that's just a small detail. Um, so this one goes on here. Okay, um, just wiggle this into place. There's a little bit of rubbing. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a little bit of rubbing which is probably accurate to the real car. <laughs> this is a pretty fast sports car, so everything is, tolerances, the tolerances are probably really tight. Um, I think that might be as far as we can go. It's harder to tell on these because the axle, the like this drive shaft here, um, it goes across, you can kind of see it, and it connects to the engine. So there's no point where you can actually see where the how far the wheel is in. But I'm assuming we're good there. It looks kind of like it's poking out a lot, but let's try the other one, see if we can get it farther. Doesn't seem to want to go farther. Maybe a little. This one is also a little misaligned there. Not perfect. All right, well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, I want it to be a short one because I think um, the episode on the interior, like we're probably gonna do all this in one episode. Although, yeah, I don't wanna jinx myself, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.